Okay, we're going to do a St. Patrick's draw along of our little cartoon St. Patrick's guy. So um, this is what he's going to look like. I have a piece of just plain computer paper. I have just a black marker and a bunch of greens, oranges, black, and browns um, colored pencils. So we're going to start with our marker, and we're going to start with his head and his beard. So make sure you leave room at the top for this hat, room at the bottom for his legs. We're going to start... That is the side of his face. Those are straight. Now, I'm gonna connect these two with the somewhat wavy line. That's the beard. Then on the edge, I'm gonna add an ear and an ear. Inside the ear, I just, it's like a little V, sideways V. Now we're gonna come behind the ears and we're gonna draw the bottom of the beard. So at the top of the ear I'm just going to draw another straight line and as I come below the ear another wavy line back up to the ear and then a straight line above the ear his hat is going to be right above that so I'm going to come straight across the top and then I move up a little bit do the same line and then we're going to connect the edges with the curve Now his hat, you can do a round top hat, you can do a square top hat. I have round or square um, on the other one, so I'm gonna try and round it. So you come up straight, back down. And then our buckle. So in the middle, we're gonna do a large square and then a small square. And then from square to the side of the hat, we're gonna draw two parallel lines. Do the same on the other side. Okay, his face. So we're going to draw an oval for his nose. And then his eyes are going to be a big circle. And in the top left corner, we're going to do a little circle. And we're going to color in the bigger circle. Big circle, little circle, color in the big circle. Now he's yelling, Happy St. Patrick's Day, so we're going to make his mouth open. So the top of the mouth is a straight line right underneath the nose, and then curved line. Inside we're going to make the tongue, so start on the bottom, you're going to do hump, hump, there's his tongue. And then above that we're going to do a straight line for his teeth, and then color the area in between the tongue and the teeth. And then all my little guys always like to add a little circle cheek, a little circle for the cheek. Okay, moving down to his suit. So we're going to start with the body. So I'm not coming too far out because we're going to add arms. Two straight lines down. Then I'm going to come in. This is his jacket. So another straight line, another straight line. So four parallel lines, and then we're going to connect them at the bottom. Now for his arms, we're going to start at this point where his beard touches his body, and it's more of a diagonal, and then connect it to the shirt, leaving some space. Start where the beard and the jacket meet, diagonal, come back to the shirt, or jacket. And then we're going to, right above this line, we're going to come and draw another straight line because that's where his white shirt is sticking out of his jacket. And then just a curved line for his hand. Now the details of the jacket, where the jacket folds over. So we're going to come under the beard, and our goal is to come down to this corner. But as we draw this diagonal line, we're going to make a little V going inside. So I go diagonal, little V, diagonal down to the corner under the beard, diagonal, V, to the corner. Okay, moving to the inside, we're going to draw a line inside the jacket. Right there were his pants, and this is his belt, so. Then his legs coming down. Now his legs are together, you don't remember, so we're not going to do any separation, so we're going to do more of an angled line. So. We're going to do the middle first, so from the bottom of the belt, stop, leave room for some shoes, 
and under the jacket right here we're going to kind of draw diagonal diagonal and then we're going to get straight across now his feet look like loaves of bread I always think of so you're going to start on this corner and we're going to curve around to the middle this foot's pointing this way that foot's pointing the other way and then I always draw little lines like his shoelaces are tied Okay, now we're going to go back to the shirt right here and add his tie. So underneath his beard, we're going to draw a V. That's the part of the tie that's at the neck. And then right where the point is, we're going to draw a diagonal line coming out both ways. That's the part of the tie that's hanging down. And his belt, we've just got to draw a smaller square. Okay, last thing we're going to do is add the words. So you can do left or right. So it looks like it's coming out of his mouth. We do like a little sideways V. And then you can write the words first and then draw the box. It's going to be the best. So we don't make our box too small. So we're going to draw it. Happy. I'm going to do Saint period. Patrick's. day. So now that you have the words, you now can take that little triangle sideways and draw the box around it so it fits. Okay, so we have drawn our cartoon guy, so let's add some color. Again, I have several greens um, to use for his suits, black for his hat, brown for his belt, um, gold for his belt buckle, orange for his hair, and then I believe this is like a peachish color for his skin. So you can change any of those if you want to. I'm going to speed through this. Okay, so I just finished adding color. I did forget a pink um, to do his little cheeks and his tongue, so that was the only color that I ran and got. But I did use all three of the greens on his suit, and I left the shirt um, where his sleeves are and his shirt white. Obviously, his teeth will be white. So I hope you enjoyed drawing and creating a little cartoon St. Patrick's guy.